Morris from Tantra Tutorials, and this is Between Two Poles, and I have one of my favorite pole dancers here to talk with us, Stephen Retchless. Hey guys. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me, Tim. Um, I, I thought you were from New York, but you are like, you're everywhere. It's complicated. So I was born in Las Vegas. Okay. So I like to say I'm a born and raised showgirl. Okay. And then uh, real quick, at three months, we moved to Puerto Vallarta. So most of my childhood is actually in Mexico. Oh, and that's so interesting because you're like blonde haired, blue eyed uh, Mexican. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. So you moved to Mexico when you were three months old? Yeah. Does Mexico feel like home for you? It does. It's definitely got a lot of sentimental value. And when I'm there, I feel happiest. In Mexico, I'm going to be doing one pole retreat. Actually. Yes, and I was going to ask you about this. This isn't just a beautiful shirt. So one pole retreat is a seven-day retreat from October 14th through the 21st, 2017. No, I'm coming. Yes. I'm coming for sure, oh, for good. sure. Um, okay, so let me take it back because okay. I'm so curious um, like when and how you got into pole dancing. How did this happen? Oh my God. So when I was eight years old, my favorite movie was Showgirls. <laughs> and ever since then, I've been obsessed with like, you know, the strong independent female warrior character and um yeah i just followed in nomi malone's footsteps i guess mm. i grew up in vegas my best friend in high school was a stripper i used to go watch her pole dance and i would think it was the most amazing thing ever and then i bought myself uh, i don't know if you know do you know what a peekaboo pole is i do it's a curtain rod yes that you I pole know. dance on <laughs> yes, <I know. laughs> and i taught myself how to shoulder mount on that pole. Without it coming down? Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, I would love dinner then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a flyer in the mail to audition for the Las Vegas Academy of Performing Arts, hmm. which is a magnet school in Las Vegas for the performing arts. And I majored in dance, I got in, and every day was like three hours of free dance classes, and I just loved it. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Um, and then you ended up on America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent. Yes, yeah. and of course that's how, I mean, I mean that's, yeah. you know, that's a Well, that happened in 2011, and yeah. yeah, it influenced a lot of people because it was way back in the beginning of the pole movement. <clears throat> well, yeah, I mean, even for me, it was just like such a, you know, obviously everybody was rooting for you because it was like, yes, there's a... There's a pole dancer representing, mm -hmm. and you were amazing. Oh, so thank you. Yeah, I went all the way to the semifinals. Oh, yeah, all the way okay. to the end. Uh, I was I'm like one of the top 16 most talented people in America. You are. You <laughs> totally are. Nigel was wrong. He was totally wrong. Said, Nigel was just attracted to you because you know what? I have a I have a, I have a confession. Yeah. I have a crush on you. On me? <laughs> Of really? course, who doesn't? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're making me blush. I think everybody does. I mean, I don't know. You're just Aww. a beautiful human being. I think it's just <laughs> about, like, the, the, again, being yourself thing. And then um, when I dance, I don't know, I do something where I just, uh, I don't know, I turn on this fire. And I think people are just attracted to it. You know, you know, you know what attracts me about you is that you are so down to earth. Like, you are Aww. really humble because you're so incredibly talented. And I've met a lot of pole stars. I even don't even love using that term because, you know, I think everybody's just super talented in their own way. But um, mm. a lot of pole stars do have some, you know, yeah. attitude. Yeah. And you really, you really, you're not. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. You're not well, pulling yourself. You're really down to earth, which is awesome. Well, I've learned a lot in the last <clears> five <throat> years, you know, traveling and being in different countries and cultures and staying with perfect strangers for a week. And, you know, I've learned a lot about communication and patience and, uh, compassion and stuff like that. So I try to just apply that to everything, you know, my practice and also my life. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Is there, is there anything else that you want to say? Like where, where uh, can people find you if so, they want to yeah. find you and book you because you're an awesome teacher and um, yeah. All my information is on my website, which I designed by myself because I wear all the hats, <laughs> but um, it's at sretchless.com. And you can find my portfolio, my brand, which is um, the shirt that I made. Can I get up? Can you see me? Yeah. Uh, and my full shorts. Let's do this Yeah. <laughs> can you see it? Now he's just playing with me. <laughs> so these are uh, my pole shorts, and these are cleverly named uh, unicorn jizz because. Uh 
of their multicolored splash marks. Um, and they have, they're like one of the only brands that are for men to, for full shorts. They have full coverage. Built in sorry, what were, we, what were we talking about? Sorry. Oh. oh, sorry. It actually has uh, built-in support technology. Okay. And I usually like show people and shock them, but uh, <laughs> we might have to make it our way to turn into a different video. So you, you designed these shorts? Yes, I designed them and picked out the fabric and found a seamstress and had them made and uh, put them through. I did a lot to make these happen and I only made a few because I really wanted to, I don't know, uh, just put all my love and attention to it and then put it out into the world and really have a good product for people to use. I mean, what would you say to another, you know, an up and coming pole dancer? Because it's always the struggle. It's like the struggle is real. There's, yeah. You know, it's, this is a tough industry. It's growing at a pretty good pace, but you know, can you make a career out of being a mm. professional pole dancer? You can. Know what, who you are and then really make that shine. And I think that's what's really important is to set yourself apart by really expressing your, yourself. I get that. I you do know. that. And that'll, that'll eventually, if you're doing good for you, it'll grow into something big. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming. It was so great to talk Thanks to you. Thanks for having me. This was fun.